apologizes for Star Wars controversy. Lucasfilm executive Pablo Hidalgo changes his Twitter account. Goodness, Marx this does the first time ever that actually taking responsibility Pablo has for his terrible behavior. <laughs> controversy Hidalgo stirred up Monday went to a recent video from Star Wars Theory. He responded to a YouTube personality, an emotional reaction to Luke Skywalker's return in The Mandalorian, the video showed. Emotions are not for sharing, Hildago responded. Later shared what happened, the Star Wars Theory Twitter account did. Making fun of me, Pablo Hidalgo is, for chiming in on this thread for being emotional over Luke Skywalker. Trolls, I don't mind, but what he said, I can't see and join in as a Lucasfilm official, I hate to believe he would. Ruthlessly attacked Star Wars theory was by Raylos and Disney Trilogy supporters afterwards. Uh, hold up, I got a butt in. What I don't understand about this is Star Wars theory has gone through chemotherapy and is a cancer survivor. I recall him saying something like uh, Luke Skywalker meant a lot to him because the character helped him get through chemotherapy. Saying that, it's really disturbing to see people actually trying to defend Pablo Hidalgo in this situation, who's got a history of making, you know, mocking comments like this towards the fandom. And then some people are just outright mocking Star Wars theory, you know, by themselves. And yeah, some of them were troll comments, but also some of them were just really fucking mean. And you'd think that Lucasfilm executives might, you know, think that a fan that connected with their work in such a powerful way would be something that they could, you know, try to you know, encourage instead of laughing at him. Indeed, exile to Burger King, Pablo must go. <laughs> Issued an apology about the incident on Monday afternoon, Hidalgo did, saying for what he said he was deeply sorry. However, deleted several tweets in the process and changed his Twitter account profile picture the executive has. Changed his cover photo to his tweet before that, Hidalgo had, which seemed to mock and troll the YouTuber and controversy. So, basically, sorry, but not sorry. For a lot of the comments I saw on Twitter, it was easy for many to just point at Star Wars theory, laugh, and say, look at the Star Wars nerd crying, without understanding the context. You know, it's, it is okay for guys to actually cry about stuff. Luke's return in The Mandalorian was meant to be an emotional scene, and it gave uh, Star Wars theory, you know, uh, a lot to be emotional about given his personal history. Everyone lately has been going off about this less normalized men showing emotions more and all this other BS. And then the moment a dude lets their guard down, it's like they just get crapped on. If defending Star Wars nerds crying we are, what about Eric Butts? What about him, hmm? All right, yes. I I'll defend Eric crying over the uh, Rise of the Skywalker trailer. Yes, it's okay for even him to cry. Personally, uh, I stopped feeling anything emotionally for the Star Wars trilogy, uh, the sequel trilogy after uh, The Last Jedi. Force Awakens at least jolted me a few times with, uh, you know, stuff like killing off Han so fast, so it's okay for him to cry about the Rise of the Skywalker trailer. I just can't really say I feel the same as him. Awfully mad everyone is at you for defending Star Wars theory now. Feel the dark side I can from simply reading their comments. Powerful hatred. They display. Yeah, a lot of them really didn't like it when I said Star Wars Siri could fold most of them, you know, his critics into a pretzel right now that are calling him a crybaby. And I stand by it. Dude deadlifts 600 pounds, which is very impressive for someone who survived cancer. Lift 600 pounds? I could, with the force. It's literally not the same, you dumb fuck.